voice of Harlan Williams here. Jessica, what's up? Hey, am I on? Yes, you are. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, hi, Harlan. Hey, what's Harlan. up, Wild Thing? Jessica. Hey. Um, hi. So I have a really serious question. Um, so I was born with um, Poland syndrome. Do you even know what that is? No. What is it? Okay, so it's like, I'm one in 30,000. It's basically when you're born without, with an absence of a pectoral muscle oh, right. on one side. Uh -huh. Right, right, okay. I thought uh, it was you didn't know how to screw in a light bulb, <laughs> but that's just me. Okay, yeah. keep going. Um, and <clears throat> most people who are born with it have, like on the affected side, they have a really kind of weird hand, all deformed and stuff. I was fortunate enough not to experience that. Got it. I'm a two, yeah, everything's normal except for I was born with like a size D breast on the left, and then my right breast never developed at all, like past a big, like a bug bite, basically. Oh, man. So wow. this is, this is a prime territory for a plastic surgeon. Yeah, so oh, I, I, uh, I, uh, I developed like, you know, fourth grade or whatever, and I didn't tell anybody about it, because I've, I've been mortified, I still am. Uh, when I was 18, I finally told my mom, and she, and I got an implant in the in my right breast. Okay. Um, but that was, you know, five years ago, and, like, my left breast is, is bigger, again, than my right. Okay. And um, I have like post traumatic stress disorder from this. From like, this? Yes, yeah, from this. I mean, I grew up in. Uh, yeah, she grew up with well, one boob. I can understand that. But PTSD, I mean, that doesn't sound right. Like, I'm like freaking out right now. No, <laughs> well, I understand it really bothers you, but PTSD is not sound right. But anyway. uh, I mean, I've seen, I've seen like three psychiatrists, psychologists, whatever, and they've all, they've all said that I have PTSD. All right. Um, How old are you, by the way? I'm 23 now. Okay, so she's going through those years where, you know, kids, girls are really, sure. you know, uptight about their looks. I, I can see that. Yes, yeah. of course. It's just disturbing to you. And I don't understand why you don't get the re-repair so you feel better about it. Well, like, I don't... It took a lot of courage for me to even ask my mom first. And any time it's ever brought up, or, you know, it's rarely brought up, um, I just down and I'm dreading the next conversation when I have to say, ask them for another one. A, it's expensive. B, insurance. Now hold on. And insurance won't cover that even though it's it's kind of not elective. I mean, it's she's still got, cosmetic though. Yeah, but some cosmetic uh, surgery is. The thing is, I, I'm like suffering, yeah. you know? Yeah. Does it hurt? You, you, could try to make that, hurt? You, you could try to make that case, but boy, I don't think insurance covers it for every reason not to pay for that. Drew, is there a side of her brain that might have been affected as well? Like no. Maybe parts of her brain, no. no. Like the sensitive part of her brain was affected? Like she's large overly really sensitive. No, it's no I'm true. not overly sensitive. I, I'm, I'm really strong. I'm surprised I've made it this far. I, hey, hey, Jessica, I feel for you. I mean, that sounds pretty intense. Um, yeah. I mean, Dr. Drew is exactly right, though. There's, I don't see any other choice but to f somehow figure out a way to have it yeah. correct. And you know what? Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah, I have a boyfriend. Doesn't he make you feel sort of better and help soothe you and manage Yeah, I mean, like, other than that, I'm actually, like, really attractive and I can get, like, any guy I want, but I don't because... You're I, freaked out. Yeah, I freak out. Yeah. Um, I mean, I Jessica, the only way to cope with this, I think, is to just keep dealing with it head on. But uh, at the end of the day, Dr. Drew has told you, I mean, that you're going to have to eventually opt for surgery some, somewhere down the line. Yeah, I mean, I already did get surgery. Re-repair. Re -repair. Yeah. My other, my second part to this question is, I want to thank you, Harlan. We'll be back. We'll talk to Jessica when we get back on the line with our guest, Harlan Williams. 1-800-L-O-B-E. 191 is the number. Yes. Joining us here in Los Angeles, Dr. Drew 